What is up, guys? Check it out. You got the uh, scoop in the mail today. Went in and put it on. Um, you know, it took all of like two or three minutes to put this thing on, so I didn't figure that activity was worth a, a full video, but I figured you guys seeing the the aftermath, the post product, the end result, whatever you want to say about it. Maybe you dig that. I know I dig it. Um, super stoked. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting a tank cover. Now that I have that and this, it's like, oh gosh, it looks really compliments the bike. I know the bike isn't perfect. You guys are probably like, oh man, you could have got a better Buell. It's fine. I, I like my Buell. I'm happy with it. But I'm uh, really stoked about the carbon fiber pieces that, that are coming in. So that's it for now. I mean, that's the only carbon fiber piece that's that was uh, ordered recently. So this, uh, this part feeds air to the intake and then to the back cylinder essentially. So it forces air back there and into the intake up there. Uh, fitment's pretty good. I mean, it's got a little air gap right there, but that isn't going to make a hill of beans difference, so that doesn't bother me. Um, let's see if I can... I'll shine a light so you can see back there. So yeah, that's the uh, internals. Well-made holes were dead up, aligned perfectly. Didn't have to do any um, grinding or anything like that on the part. It was a perfect fit. This is all tech carbon. So um, that's Tech Carbon, that's Tech Carbon. And so I'm gonna stick with the brand because they actually have everything I need for the bike. And um, it's readily accessible. There are um, other brands that are out there and I've heard some people say that they're better than Tech Carbon, but I'm happy with this. I mean, really, it's good stuff. So um, another thing I had to do, um, I guess maybe I could have recorded it, but in the la one of the other videos I talked about the headlights I actually got <laughs> I had the low beam and the high beam and low and the high beam and the low beam So everything was kind of flip-flopped whenever I flip the the high beam on it would the beam would actually go lower and So uh, I got that fixed today. That took two or three minutes pretty easy job. So um, Another thing that happened today is in Texas we have to do an inspection for motorcycles so got the inspection done, everything went just fine. Um, so got the pass and then tomorrow I'll have a plate on it. And uh, this thing will be on the road and we'll be riding it. And little by little I'll be fixing this and that and then keeping you guys up to date. Here's something I wanted to ask you guys about your opinion. So whenever this does get replaced, I was thinking the original color of this bike is blue. The title says it's blue. I was thinking if I got a carbon fiber tank cover, what if I had like a nice, the, the Buell parts won't be there so, so far as what I can tell with the uh, carbon fiber tank. It does have these little humps on either side. I don't know what that's all about, but what if I got a blue stripe painted on by pro right in the middle that uh, was the uh, either a buell color or a color that was easily accessible and then had that coated so it looked you know so the black the bike was at a hundred percent black and silver it had some splash of color in it i don't know what do you guys think is that a go no go i'm up for opinions on this one because I'm I'm not convinced that that's the right way to go but I think it'd be kind of cool whatever some of you might be thinking just make it your own bike who cares yeah I'm I'm, I'm definitely on that side of and that way of thinking but I'm honestly interested in your you guys' opinion on the matter so anyhow thanks guys for tuning in this is a short one today um don't forget to like and subscribe so you stay tuned with what I get done on the bike. And uh, 
Look forward to seeing you next time. Peace out.